Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we'll be looking at Guns N' Roses vinyl records, the spaghetti incident and GNR lies. Let's get to it. All right, welcome back. So, <laughs> spaghetti incident, vinyl record. It's not even in print. How did I get it about four weeks ago? Well, this is how I got it. I was uh, at one of the record stores. I won't name the record store because obviously this is not original recording, uh, original pressing that is. Um, anyways, I was at this record store in, in the rock section and the special sales section, they had two of these records, the GNR Lies, which actually includes Live Like a Suicide EP as well. And I picked it up and everything just looked great. Uh, looking at the cover, the artwork, I was like, man, this looks very real. But there was a little sticker on it which actually said um, second hand. And I knew surely there's no way someone will be selling a second hand uh, vinyl record of the spaghetti incident and GNR Lies. And even if they were selling it, it won't be available for 32 bucks. Um, anyways, I, I went to the counter and I asked, I was like, hey, um, are these used? And at first the guy said, yes, they are. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want it because I just like to buy new ones just because things aren't damaged. And a few seconds later he goes, well, we're not allowed to sell these, but these aren't originals. And that's why we label them as second hand and I was like all right sure I'll buy it I'm a huge Guns N' Roses fan I've got duplicate albums of all their releases including Spaghetti Incident and anyways like I knew look the quality is not gonna be superb but at the end of the day I will be able to have a physical version of the Spaghetti Incident and GNR Lies uh, LP, even if it's not the original release. I don't know where they actually um, print these. I think I read somewhere maybe they do that, do this in Germany. I don't know, but apparently there's this gray area in terms of how these records are available for sale and whatnot. Um, now I need to get my hands on the live era uh vinyl record so hopefully one day fingers crossed anyways without further ado let's go ahead and see what's inside so the spaghetti incident album is just pretty bare bones and the quality is actually not too bad i've listened to it a few times already uh there's no um bad there are no bad noises coming from my turntable when i play this no pops no hisses nothing it's um it could almost be done from a cd i don't know it's a pretty lightweight when uh vinyl and i don't see any damage or scratches on it it's just very crystal clear the labels uh it says geffen records and and same on the other side as well so let's get a closer look and Geffen Records. Um, there is no booklet of any sort. It's just bare bones. Um, this is how it came with. And the album cover obviously looks just good. Um, there's nothing here which looks like it's fake. As a matter of fact, uh, you could be just picking it up and playing it and no one will even know. Um, this is meant to be a sticker. It says, uh, chock full of unsavory subject matter and explicit lyrics etc 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 so don't say we didn't want you GNFNR so I am guessing wherever they got this um, picture from it was it had a sticker on it because this seems to be just uh, stuck to it and they kind of like copied it exactly like the way it was so here's a close-up I'm not sure if you'd be able to see it clearly and at the back all the song titles are listed 
great find I am super pleased with this all right next one is GNR lies um, everything looks really good um, on the cover and at the back you got the uh, live like a suicide and the quality of the print looks really good once again the disc of uh, the disc the vinyl record plays very well there are no pops or hisses or hums or anything uh, and the quality is pretty decent you know I don't know how they did it did they do it from a CD or for some from something else I don't know what the source was but um, the sleeve is better on this it actually has a the actual sleeve I think which must have come with um, the original release and yeah it's got all the liner notes picture of the band all the songs um, information about the songs where it was printed rah 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 rah, rah. so yeah so the sleeve is pretty good let's have a look at um, the vinyl record itself once again no scratches or of any sort it has the Giffen records label on it there's a side G and there's a side R which is pretty cool G and R and it even has a stamp for Uzi suicide so it's pretty much like a direct copy of the actual thing uh, I don't know how they did it but it's pretty cool and for a fraction of a price you know I can't complain and I tell you what like the day Guns N' Roses will decide to re-release um, these albums on vinyl I'll be the first one to pre-order it without a doubt um, I'm a little bit concerned what will happen is that for the GNR Lies album they may try to uh, get rid of the song One in a Million or they may try to um, censor it in some way uh, I don't know which will suck I mean look I don't really condone any of the things which have been said in this song but it's still an original song do you know um, and I just want to listen to it in its original format Anyways, uh, this is it. A review of the Guns N' Roses Spaghetti Incident and GNR Lies and Live Like a Suicide vinyl records. So, if you are in the market looking for these two albums, um, keep checking your local store and you may find it. And uh, all the best. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, like this video if you found this content enjoyable and also hit that bell button so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Take care.